Welcome to Love Them Knives Batch 7. So let's get into it. Batch 7 test results. We do an XRF test to see if the steel is the actual steel stated by the manufacturer. And also we want to see the Rockwell hardness. Those are the two things that I'm getting tested. So that's all I can tell you. I can't tell you, you know, how the entire process is done in their heat treat tampering you know final grind all that kind of stuff but i can tell two things i can tell if the elements are correct for the kind of steel that they're claiming it is and the hardness so let's start out we got the nv4 to your knife nv4 and here it is and this is, uh, these, most of these knives, all except, actually all except two, were sent in by uh, another guy who wanted to get some tests on MagnaCut, S30V, that kind of thing. And I've had some requests as well for 14C, Nitro-V, etc. That's why I threw in the Nitro-V here. We'll do more testing on those kinds of things as well. Okay, so... Tuya knife, NV4, uh, S90V, is it real S90V? And yes, it is. It's real S90V. You can see the vanadium there, chromium, all that. And it's a 58.8 at best, um, hardness-wise. And I heard some other people talk about, I think we had one last month in batch six that was a bit disappointing as well if you're thinking that it should be 60 plus and you know what I'm gonna get into this more and try and figure out what is it with s90v that it tends to kind of run low or is it just what I've been you know experiencing so I'll look into that further next we got the Hogue Deca in Magna Cut and this says it's Magna Cut. And here it is. And I can't show you the divots on these knives. I might insert some pictures to show you. But I did take a couple of pictures before I reassembled them. But I disassembled all these knives, sent them in, so they could be tested in, in a place where it wouldn't be obvious on the knife. That way it won't devalue the knife so badly for the people who own them. That, you know, it's a nice knife. You, you want to keep it nice and you don't want a whole bunch of dots on the blade. You know, banging them up. So, okay, I get that. Uh, so that's what we did. Now the DECA. Okay, let's go DECA. Yes, it is MagnaCut. Uh, 4.65 vanadium, chromium, 10%. All that kind of stuff. And... It was 61.7 and a 61.2. So, um, and I don't know, I had heard from somebody who had said something or I'd seen some comment like, hey, at first we kind of jumped on Hogue about their Magna Cut, but they boosted it since. So I don't know if this is an earlier production or a later production. All I know is here it is, the Hogue Deca in Magna Cut, and it's 61.7 at best okay now what's number three? Oh yeah the frack okay this is an s90v so s90v on the frack um and it's big old knife big old knife i had one too and some i think i traded out uh of that uh to some other guy that wanted it and frack okay is it S90V? Yeah, it is. Look at that. About 10% vanadium, just like up here to you. Okay. Chromium. And 59. So let's look at 60 and a 60.4. I mean, give that credit for a 60 at least. 60.4, which is a little harder than this the 58.8, which, yeah, you could call it 59. So a point higher, you know, than the two you knife. Okay, so, yeah, uh, not a lot of difference. So, I don't know, I don't know where they're actually supposed to be. It seems like maybe they're supposed to be around 59 to 60. I don't know, but I'm going to ask more questions. And you know what? I need to go on 
um, Laren Thomas's blog, you know, Steel Nerds, and see where he has put them as far as their, you know, most effective Rockwell hardness for heat treat. Okay, and then the next one is the Migron Centurion, and that's also, whoop, let's get the right knife. Come on, baby. Okay, Migron Centurion, and this is in S90V as well. So my bud, Michael, that sent me these knives, he really is focusing this time on the S90V as much as he is on the MagnaCut. So this is S90V from Migron. And where are they? Is it real S90V? Yeah, about 10% vanadium, the chromium 14%. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it is. And 56.5 with his little crybaby thing on here. So that, ooh. So we're at a 56.5. Even if you could give them the, you know, you can say 0.5 variance on one poke to another, but we did two pokes on it. So it's under 57. So all of a sudden, you know, the Envy and, uh, and the Frack are looking good. Looking good comparison. So this this begs a question, doesn't it? Of what's going on with S90V? I mean, we're not. Are we supposed to see some that are 61, 62? Can it be that high without being too brittle? There's a lot of vanadium in there. I mean, 10% vanadium. Shit, that man, that's a bunch, isn't it? That is because I mean, Magna Cut's got. 4.5 percent or whatever but you were talking about 10 percent on s90v so would that really be overly brittle does it need to be about 58 to 59 i don't know i don't know that's a good question um and let's go to the next page throw her down go again okay so then we've got um the american blade works model and this is magna cut Okay, so I bought one at Blade West last year. I don't have mine anymore either. I mean, they come and they go like ghosts in the night. I swear to God. But this is Magna Cut. This is all made in the USA and heat treated in, in the USA by a regional heat treater from what I understood uh, from him. And so here you go. Is it Magna Cut? Yeah, look at the vanadium 4.3, you know, chromium, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it's Magna Cut, and it's a 62.6 to a 62.9. So 62.9, you could give them credit for a 63 there, really. So that's, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I mean, you're basically banging 63 there. That's, that's yeah, I'll give them credit for that. that that's not bad. Now, get, gather yourself, gather yourself, because here we come to the crescendo, not the end, but the crescendo of this whole thing. Number five, okay? Okay, what do you think this is? It looks like a chamois, Gareth Bull, right? Well, yeah, it's made to be that clone. Um... I think it's Hilberg Knives, H-I-L-B-E-R-G, that was making, you know, they were making uh, the Norseman, uh, the Grimsmo Norseman knockoff, and they were making this Shamwari knockoff as well. At one time, I think they're done. I think they're gone. Uh, but this was a couple of years ago. Well, this one was still floating around and got sent to me and uh, a buddy of mine said, that is way cool, you know, because it's bigger, I think, than the one that they did with Wii Knives and stuff. And so, I mean, this, I mean, I think he paid like 60 bucks for it from the other guy that sent it to me. And then he threw me another 40 bucks to, hey, just have it tested whenever, you know, whenever you get around to it. So I did. So this is supposed to be M390. So here they were making these knockoffs of the Shamwari and the Grimsmo Norseman, all that kind of stuff. Okay, but were they real? And what's the Rockwell? Okay, so let's take a look, shan't we? And the Gareth Bull clone, 
is for point a yeah vanadium chromium there you go 20 percent m390 that is correct and yes it is m390 or 20 cv that's the way the testing people call it it could be either because the the recipe is the same okay it's a spicy meatball it's 64.2 64.4 wow wow on m390 so needless to say, now that I offered Sean, hey, I'll buy it back from you for the 60 bucks you paid. And you know what he told me? Yeah, he told me, no, that's what he told me. <laughs> he says, that's the best 60 bucks I ever spent. Well, he put 40 bucks for testing. So best $100 he's ever spent. I go, that doesn't tell the entire story. It just tells you how hard it is. But hard's better than soft. So, okay. And you know what? It, uh, to be totally shameless, they were, I mean, it, it, it's the fit and fit. And, you know, it's just, uh, it's nice. It's nice. What can I say? And for no more than they were charging. Okay. I, I get you. I get you. Okay. Next one up is the MKM. Okay. Yipper. Yipper. In Magna Cut. Yipper. And made by something I can't pronounce, but it's in Magna Cut, Maniago, Italy. And what do you think? What do you think, Mr. Yippie? I think it's Magna Cut. Definitely 4.39, you know, 10.77 chromium. Okay, okay. So it's Magna Cut. 61.8. That's almost a 62. But 62.1 is almost a 62.1 <laughs> so okay well, uh, 62 62 you know what not bad not bad i would have i would have guessed it might have been closer to 60 but it's close to 62 you know what i'm starting to figure out this magna cut i think is not so difficult to get to a high number i mean best tech's banging them at 63 and a half and yet, they kind of struggled for a while getting M390 over 60. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm just thinking there's something about this Magna Cut that hardens up really well with... You don't have to be a super stealth to be able to... Uh, or a genius to get that the hardness in it. So, okay, that's interesting. Um, Ritter, okay. So... We got the Hogue knife, the Ritter Hogue, and it is in Magna Cut. Yeah, USA made, and all that stuff. And um, I like the RSK. I had one just like this um, until a few months ago when I traded mine off. I just wasn't carrying it too bad because I really... I like the ergos and everything. It's a hell of a nice user. But uh, here it is. Okay, so let's get down to this. Magna Cut, the, I mean, just the formula, you know, 4% vanadium, 10% Okay, yes, it is Magna Cut. 62.9, which is basically a 63. And both pokes were 62.9. So, I mean, so let's just call it 63. 63, not too shabby. Not too shabby. So, 63 on this, really, uh, I gave the results to my buddy Michael that sent me most of these knives. And um, he says, you know, I, I guess the only disappointing one was the Migron that was really disappointing, you know, down in the 56, really, that for S90V, that just seems way low. But, okay. And the others, he was he was okay with. Um, and this last one, of course, I think this is my last, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, it's the Drop Bear Nitro-V. And uh, so, is it real Nitro-V? Yeah. Uh, look at that. I like this. I like this with this clear acrylic. I like the drop bear. It's just so easy to manage with this clutch lock system where you can unscrew it from both sides, pop the scales off, pop new scales on if you wanted to without disturbing anything else. But let's see, drop bear, nitro V. Yeah, it is nitro V. 
and apparently nitro v ain't got a whole lot of v in it um but there's a chromium all that okay 59 i'd say 59 is pretty decent for nitro v so we're good i mean most of these knives pretty good it's just, I would say the Migron is the big disappointment. And maybe some people might point to all the S90V not being all that good, which is the Tuya and the CJRB. I don't know. I, I can't speak from expertise. I am definitely far, far from a Laren Thomas type person. And so I'm going to go... When I got a spare moment and check out Knife Steel Nerds and look at the plethora of blade steels and then kind of see where he rates S90V and where he thinks that that hardness range should be. Um, so, okay. Uh, but I'm going to leave you to it. I'm going to, I'm working on uh, batch eight. I'm trying to line some knives up for that, send that in to get tested. But here we go, you know. We've got both the the gun shooting for elements, and we've got the Rockwell test numbers. So hopefully you guys have learned something from that. I would not extrapolate that to every single knife. I'm going to say these hardness numbers pertain to these specific knives. Would they vary with other, uh, you know, uh, batches, heat treat batches? Maybe. So I don't know. I mean, I would not extrapolate it to everything. And I know that a lot of people do. But then again, it's at least nice to know something. All right. Take care. Have a good one. And you guys, stay sharp.